Well, Alice, it seems we've both got autism, haven't we? Well, that's good to know. What's going on, guys? Uh, it's your, it's your dad. All of you are grounded. If you weren't aware, nearly a year ago, I made a video of a review of a Thrasher hoodie. Now, over here, there is no contention between skaters and non-skaters. People wear what the fuck they want to wear. But, it seems... I've pissed off the Americans. So my Thrasher review has 7.3k views. I've not made a single penny off the video because I used a licensed instrumental, but uh, it's not going down well, especially uh, especially with you, my uh, my American viewers. Fucking hell. So, for example, the top comment, fuck Nug Poser, get a life. And the following one, Fucking posing bitch. I hope your bitch ass gets fucking beat. And the only thing I can say to that is Jesus Christ. Here we go from Nathan Lopez. LOL, fuck you for buying that. High beast ass. I just have visions of a 14 year old little poor kid just, just getting really, really upset. The token saint here. Um, Thrasher Boy Johnny, so you know he's really loyal to the brand. He takes he takes his capitalist greed really seriously, and he says, "Fucking poser, ellipsis." The thing is, the insults start to get gradually more American, and luckily, I've consumed a lot of American media over the years, so I am familiar with what they're saying. So, from a skate mate, look at this fuckboy poser. Doesn't even know what trucks are. Fucking peckerwood trash, get out of here with your fucking trailer trash. Trash? <laughs> your fucking trailer park trash family. We don't have trailers over here, so your insult full on flops. Flops like an erectile dysfunction. Hello, Will. But I think this one's quite interesting. Um, if you don't know, the hoodie itself has like a pentagram on it and it's got like a devil goat. And I quite like the graphic, but. I've also pissed off the Christians, because uh, Darren Crow has gone, fuck Satan and his bitch as minions. Of all the things you could get mad about, you're, to be fair, like, fair play to you, I agree, fuck Satan. Ed Klein says, hi, I've never read the Thrasher magazine, but I still wear their clothes. You're right, I'm not gonna read Thrasher, but I'm gonna wear their shit. You better skate, goddammit. Hype beast ass. Fuck boy having ass. From skate mates from earlier, he's he's not he's not like left me alone here. I think he consistently comments, he comes back monthly to uh, get abusive. You fucking poser, I will kill you and leave you to depression. Well if I'm dead, I can't be miserable. So in theory, you're doing me a favour. Fuck you. You don't skate. Here's a good exchange I had from a guy called ANBU. Don't wear Thrasher ever again. So I go, make me. And then a guy with a Shrek avatar goes, I can't, but God can. A guy that commented like half a year ago has said, you know what I hate? People that don't skate and wear Thrasher vans. Like, fuck you. Go roll your roll ups up and go listen to some Drake or some shit. But I think. Without a doubt, kind of the most insulting comment I've gotten out of all of this is the material looks nice, what size you get, and also, I don't know why, but you kind of remind me of Evan Peters, I think it's the eyes. I didn't know who that was, so I had to Google him, and he's one of the ugliest looking fuckers on the planet. So, thanks Srelet605, you cunt. I think the moral of the story here is you're totally not allowed to wear shit. If some group of people doesn't like you dressing in a certain way, you, I mean, you gotta take that shit off immediately. You are committing what is the equivalent to the Armenian genocide. Oh, so yeah, you you, you don't run. Then you better, you better take those ultra booths off, you fucking cuck. It boils down to the same thing. Don't be limited. Just wear what you want, and if it makes you ultimately happy and comfortable in your own skin, that's what should matter. I think I'm done apologising for not uploading. I don't have stuff to do. So, I, I'm broke as shit at the moment, and I'm not going to start dealing cocaine just to fund clothes. I think that's like, that's like a step beyond the moral boundary. But I bought a shirt recently. In fact, I'll show you. I'll show you. Where is it? 
I could have done another on a budget episode, but it's really not that interesting. I think the Armani shirt worked because it was an Armani shirt, but I think I want to stress the importance of go cheap and get shit that no one else has. Start being an individual, not everything is a brand name and a label. Just do, find your own sense of style and be a fucking individual instead of being a slave to a brand. Which is completely ironic because that's the entirety of what this channel was founded on.